If your iPhone keyboard is seemingly typing wrong characters, then this is what you can do about it. First of all, you need to head over to the settings and then tap on general and proceed to the keyboard. Right, so if you are in here, at first at the top ensure that you have the proper language added and selected. So perhaps you have a different keyboard layout or something is off about the languages in here. So make sure you just add the one that you use. But besides that, there are more things which could be or allowing you to just type in different characters or like the wrong ones. For instance, there is the auto correction. So if you have this turned on, it just means that your sentences or words will be automatically corrected to be gram grammatically correct. So it might be something you are interested in, but it will inevitably just change or type something different that you meant. So perhaps just do that. Or you can also just disable the predictive text or show predictions in line, check spelling. All of these things should probably be turned off if you don't want any automatic feature interfering with your typing experience. There is also the slide to type, which could be triggered by accident. That's an option as well. So definitely go ahead and turn it off, at least to test it out if it works or if it's better for you that way. This should most definitely fix a lot of people's issues, but if not, then proceed with the text replacements. So this is like a shortcuts for, you know, you create a couple of different shortcuts and then you give them the full phrase. And it might happen that you have accidentally typed the shortcut and triggered the full phrase. And you just notice that like random sentences and words appear out of nowhere. So this might be kind of annoying. So at least keep that in mind. But also, if you want to, you can come back to the general section. And then at the bottom, there is the transfer or reset iPhone and tapping on reset gives you the ability to reset keyboard dictionary. So you might want to do that. Just keep in mind that obviously all of these settings here are going to be reset, which might be something that you are going for. And also one last option is to learn just download a different keyboard from the app store. For instance, the Microsoft Swift key or Gboard from Google might be a good alternative for your iOS keyboard if it seems to not work properly. So that's it for me. Let me know below in the comments if you have managed to fix this issue. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video.